Hello gamers and welcome to this new episode. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today, before I start, I want to show a little bit of highlights of what happened on live streaming. Uh, even though I haven't streamed a lot, I made a console. You can see on top left corner that I can set the daytime, um, use it to to cheat basically. And also I can now have an infinite amount of any item. This is not going to be in the game though, unless I decide to make a creative mode, which is not in the plan yet, but might be soon. We can start. Uh, I've been working in some visual stuff in the last few days because I want to have a trailer soon and I started building an, an environment and I started from the desert one. I started by doing some desert boulders, many different types. Remember that when you build environments, variety is really important. I also figured out that little details like cracks make them look good. So if you're trying and having a low poly graphics, you should consider it. I know having details sounds like the opposite of having a low poly style. And that's why it's not always straightforward to decide which details to add, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, once I've done, I mixed them together and had some shapes like this arch uh, or this uh, I don't know how to call this and putting them together in the island definitely helps in having some environment going on So these are static meshes. Uh, I'm currently trying to place them in the best way And uh, whenever I'm done, I will try to figure out how to achieve a similar result But dynamically so that we can have an infinite amount of different islands and every one of these should be at least decent Okay, uh, with that done, I had to model some flora. I wanted to stick to desert looking ones uh, but with a little twist to have a mix between alien and normal world so I made two types of palms. Uh, the first one is this one, which can have some blue corals that you will see later in the video is harvestable. And the probability of finding one and the speed of regrowth both depend on the, f the island fertility. But as you might guess, deserts are not really fertile, so it might be a rare material to find. And the second one is another type of palm, but uh, this does not have any fruit for now. And uh, most likely the log is gonna be harvestable given I think fiber and of course seeds. Pretty much every plant gives seeds so that you can farm it. Actually I did a third one but I feel like this is not really fitting into the desert island so I will keep it for the other type along with the gas plant and the dirt tree. Alright, uh, time for the earthly plants. Uh, we have some cactuses, a little cute one which I'm seriously thinking on not let anyone harvest it with the knife because it's too sweet. And uh, some more family members like this. Uh, hello, daddy. The flower is usable in crafting to cure yourself, uh, crafting some sort of a medikit, uh, you know, just to region yourself, to bring your power back, let's say like that. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, we have some dried plants and red corals. Okay, now that we have some stuff going on, this is how the island is looking. Um, I would say not bad. I just have to make some more ravine variants, uh, caves and maybe canyons, why not? And then I think we should be good to go. All right, let's move on. I have a knife uh, because I did it before and I have some plants. Uh, it's time to make some chop chop animations. If there is something I'm worse at than modeling, it's probably animations. I don't really know, I haven't really done that much of it. But anyway, I have in mind three different types of chop chop animations within Unity and after a few attempts, I got this one. This is by far the ugliest yet elegant animation I've ever seen in my life. How is that possible? I have no clue. I don't know, like seriously. Anyway, after trashing it, I managed to have a decent one, then a second one and a third one. And now if I press the left mouse button, they start playing sequentially. Um, Yeah, so we can finally see some real chop chop going on. I like it. Still something is missing though. Uh, I made a script to have some camera shake whenever the knife hit the coral and eventually added some particles to have even more visual interactions and now I feel like it's complete. I just need some sound effects but that's something I will take care of in the future but I'm pretty satisfied with it. I like it. I can do the same with all the stuff. Of course the color will change depending on what you hate. I can now harvest red and blue corals which are juicy ingredients for the smelter. Oh, one more thing, I didn't forget about creatures, I just have to do a bunch of things before, like learning animations and rigging. I'm not kidding if I say that the last thing I rigged was a poop. If I find the video, I will share it. And uh, uh, so yeah, I will try to, to learn these things. But I can tell you that probably the first creature will be uh, a desert one. Okay, uh, well, this was today update. Uh, if you ha if you want to follow some live development, you might join me on the purple platform. 
And also don't forget to subscribe and join our Discord server. And uh, yeah, we have a, an amazing community and you are more than welcome. With that being said, uh, have fun and I'll see you guys in the next video or streaming.